Hi there, my name is Sayed. In this video, we will learn about SAP S4 HANA uh, business partner and uh, we will take a look at some basic concepts about related to customer and vendors and uh, how uh, it will affect new functionality and uh, with the uh, moving from ECC to and from ECC to S4 HANA and uh, if it is your first time learning about S4 HANA and uh, just a new implementation, it will also help as well. So, and we will take a look at some system screen and uh, what are the benefits of having the S4 HANA and basic concepts and how it works. So, as we can see, there's a mind map. Uh, so, mind map is uh, just pictorial representation of simplification of a topic. So we can see a business partner is, is having three branches, a person, organization, and a group. So business partner uh, can be created as a person or as, as an organization or as a group. And, uh, and after that, we have more categorization, what kind of role we are assigning. Uh, if, for example, if we create a business partner as an organization, uh, if we are assigning a customer role, then it's become a customer. And if we are assigning a vendor role then it's also become customer and vendor so uh, based on the system settings and uh, so it will be uh, we can do that and uh, one business partner can be a customer and vendor at the same time and uh, all the necessary information will be uh, associated with the customer role so let's take a look at it um, so um business partner mind map so we can see there is another detailed mind map of uh, business partner mind map is just uh, very easy to understand a complex subject uh, so we can see there is the uh, business partner having a customer role also have a company code data uh, we can see a business partner general and also we have some relationship also as well so it will define more functions and uh, credit management so these all role uh, drive different um, screens and the fields are relevant for that uh, function so uh, this uh, mind map uh, detail mind map is come from um, this book SAP S4 HANA business partner which is also written by me and uh, you can learn as a business end user about more detailed information and how it works and it's just SAP standard function so uh, the detailed information will be available on this book but right now we can see that uh, business partner have a uh, different um, we are uh, looking at the uh, mind map of a customer so if we have a vendor you will see another branch which is uh, showing the uh, vendor related function so uh, so, uh, business partner is a role-based um, a customer, which uh, meaning that if we create a customer, uh, as many roles we assign, uh, the functionality of a business partner is enhanced uh, and uh, and works with that. So, it, with each role have different um, uh, different tabs and different views available, uh, as we can see in the previous slide that for example customer have a sales and distribution and general data uh, views so that both are associated with customer and uh, it will allow to uh, have more role based uh, function so you can also combine multiple um, uh, functions of different roles into the one customer for example customer and vendor can be a combined uh, one entity a business partner uh, it's a single transaction to create customer or vendor that is a uh, key benefit we have um, and uh, comparing to the ECC the older version of SAP we can see the same concepts are available for example company code data view is same as it was before and uh, it is same function that is available uh, and it's more uh, flexible with additional fields and functions so in BP business partner as uh, short form is BP and we can see there is more uh, available uh, views and fields are available more functions are available with the business partner upgrade so that is the new um, added feature and uh, new credit management uh, which is also we can uh, we can leverage in business partner that is a uh, uh, role based uh, business function that is also available with the business partner and it's a one transaction called also called business uh, BP so business partners is maybe a small abbreviation so that is easy for a user to remember 
and uh, also one more tip about that uh, if user is using old transactions for example from ECC XD01 that is also works but it's also it will take you to the same screen of BP but uh, with the different initial screen for example if you're going for display it will take you to the display screen but it's basically eventually it is a variation of BP that is showing there so so also works at the similarly uh, as we can see that so this is a, a T code BP we can see in the system it's showing the create BP role so role is showing up here we can have more functions uh, we can take a look and uh, each role will come up with a different set of fields and uh, uh, required fields and uh, so account group information and all of those stuff information and we can see this in the business partner general uh, we are we're looking at address address overview so th there is another uh, new addition address overview identification control payment transactions so all of those tabs have different related fields for uh, a customer or a vendor to have and we can see on the on the top on the left hand side top person organization or group so when we create a customer so blank page mean basically and creating a new so uh, so right now you can see the create organization in this screenshot we are creating uh, a business partner as organization and this organization we can uh, assign with the different roles so that is a categorization first of all and then after that role assignment and then there is a business partner number will automatically populate and uh, internal number range so that that number range is based on the grouping so that grouping is has to be set on the system and based on that it will bring up the uh, number range for the uh, for the customer for the business partner so uh, let's take a look at the system and just real quick uh, the system demo up here okay so this is SAP main screen SAP easy access and uh, to in order to go to the business partner we just entered transaction code BP and it will bring up the business partner screen where we can see the same uh, screens we were looking at it earlier uh, so person organization or a group and uh, right now if I click on organization it will bring up the uh, the role where we can see roles that we can select for a business partner to be created so we can see it is showing as a general partner role right now as a default uh, when we try to create it we can see name uh, information and uh, when we see this check mark thing it means that's the required uh, field so if we can say name up here enter the name and uh, let's try to see the language uh, if we do not enter let's press enter and see what fields are system will default so if I go to the address overview uh, so we can see there is a different uh, type of address usages are available in the system and uh, based on that uh, those uh, ad the address from this screen will come up to with the address overview and that can be assigned to the different addresses so customer can have multiple addresses and based on the usage it will update onto the customer uh, address usage so identification so we can see there is a legal form uh, we can see industry we can see external business partner number that can be assigned up here and there are more fields available uh, tax number so there are more uh, different fields that are available uh, control tab up here so so th those are the different fields available with the uh, standard uh, business partner role and you can see there is a number is showing zero 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 that is also a standard uh, SAP number range that is available so that is basically a general overview of a business partner we can search from customer from here as well with the find and uh, that can be changed as well so, uh, so that it for the video let's take a look at more one more screen so uh, the the book is also available on the um, uh, 
business partner book is available for the anyone is interested about SAP business partner book and uh, there is the link is available up here and the link will be in the description and if you would like to subscribe for upcoming free Kindle ebooks at time to time I offer my books for free on promotion time so if you go ahead and subscribe you will get uh, that email uh, if it is on promotional time and uh, there are SAP uh, books available for users so there's end user book there is a customer master book there is also a book for end um, uh, SAP business partner end user book that book is also available so if you're interested uh, and you would like to use that book please go ahead and uh, check this out on Amazon thank you very much that's it for this video thank you and please subscribe and leave a comment thank you very much